Years ago, you may remember I spoke about how it seems mice with thinner grip width and lower button height seems to help aim, which is why when I designed the MZ1, I made those two measurements as low as possible with 5.25cm at the fingers and under 2cm for left and right. I even related it to painting with a paint roller versus a paintbrush. If you're painting intricate details, you're going to want a smaller brush, right? So you can get those finer details? Right, and that's part of why we use thin pens too, and hold them like this, instead of in the hand like this. After all these years, it seems it's true that smaller does help aim, relatively speaking of course. And obviously, there are some other factors, but someone just took this principle to the next level and actually got to Immortal in Valorant, which is awesome. I was already following him, so I reached out and wanted to get some details. Thought you might be interested to hear his thoughts too. So here's a bit of an interview. Okay, Karyu, welcome to the channel, and if you just want to quickly say a bit about yourself so we know your level of experience before using a pen for gaming, what have you done in the past, and what have you done to prepare for this? Oh, is this like my, my brag sheet? It can be. You can just, I mean, we can relax with this too, we don't have to be super professional. Um, just what's your gaming experience, I guess? Oh, you know what, I started on like, I think my first FPS game, and also like one of my first games was Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. Um, <laughs> no way awesome yeah that's like it's like uncommon for like kids these days i feel like i'm really in tune with the the newer generation of like gamers who play like fortnite and valorant and all that but i also like random games like wolfenstein or like halo back in when i was like f four five and six whatever my brother played i would just try it i wasn't good at it but i tried it i also played shooters like uh nexon combat arms and s4 league which are like way lesser known titles than let's say call of duty but i also dabbled in call of duty i discovered csgo when i was like 11 12 and then that was kind of my introduction to shooters uh but i didn't really start aiming until i found fortnite ironically fortnite is actually pretty aim heavy and that's when i got into um learning aim mechanics like Tracking, click timing, all the good stuff. But a little before that is when I discovered Osu, got a hold of a tablet. And I think there's a there's a very popular CSGO video when Osu skills translate into a CSGO comeback. That was when I didn't have I didn't draw a parallel between Osu and shooting games at first. But after that video I did, which is a really common misconception. But that's essentially how I got the idea of trying to game on an FPS game with the tablet. You, like if you try it at first with the tablet plugged in it just makes you do, do 360s on the ground and just spin repeatedly so i was like researching for ways that you can actually use the tablet and make it aim like a normal mouse and it was just as simple as switching the positioning mode from absolute which is a 2d plane to relative and just to put it in like more simple terms it's like switching from league of legends aim into i don't know CSGO aim or Valorant aim where there's uh, a 3D field of view to aim on. Uh, that's what kind of started everything. I was playing Fortnite with my tablet and I made a video about it. I uh, got some views but I didn't see it as much other than a gimmick at first uh where i made the video and people would like ask about it like oh do you actually play on a tablet i'll be like nah not really that shit was for fun uh fast forward maybe a year later and it's covid season and i'm bored out of my mind so i'm like all right i'm bringing this back and i full send it and i hit diamond on a pen which was two years ago and i thought that was cool but still i just didn't see it as more than a gimmick i did it for the content essentially a couple months again i was like bored i'm like okay i actually this play style when i was using it was really fun right and i was using um i think it's a by or no eight by six in inches sorry i don't know my centimeters tablet to play but i was like always limited by how much i could turn with the tablet because there's a limited amount of area right as opposed to like a mouse pad you can quickly readjust you could also do that on the pen but it feels more awkward because who plays with a pen right so I was looking on the market for uh, the biggest tablet I could find that felt the most cool to play with. Stumbled on the Wacom Intuos Pro. It sent me back 500 bucks. It was cool. And I started taking it to the next level after that. Nice. All right. And after reaching Immortal, are pens the future? Like, do you think we'll be using those from now on? Or is this just a gimmick to mess around with? Or what's going on? 
Our pens of future is a tricky one. I think we were talking about this before where uh, I would try to play Apex and the scroll wheel is so important for that game where it's like if you want to tap strafe or you want to like wall jump or even loot a body. I can't loot a body because the the little bar that they use as a scroll wheel is fake. Like you can't scroll the Apex body, Apex like inventory by dragging down. You have to use a scroll wheel for some reason. So games that require a scroll wheel, like let's say you're trying to B-hop in CSGO, quite limited so far it would require someone or a company to innovate the whole play style and like have constant feedback like on what i don't know let's say a pen player would need and i, I would love like a small wheel on the on the pen but that would take a lot of inventing i've heard of controllers with scroll, scroll wheels before i'm not too familiar with them but say i had a scroll wheel i think it would make apex pretty playable as for aim itself with the pen it introduces a lot more precision i'd like to think because the mouse is a lot more of a bulky object while the pen is something kind of like you know you can flow with it it's it's something you get used to as a as a child and unless like you're a giga gamer i'm pretty sure most people get used to a writing you Tensile first, a writing utensil first as opposed to a mouse. So is it the future? I think there's a small chance that like message to all gaming companies out there. I think this would be cool as fuck, <laughs> but um, for now, the mouse is better just because there's more support for it. Uh, the pen is something that is experimental with a lot of potential uh, because as I said, right, you're more used to uh, movement on it at first and it's the primary input in ga uh, games like Osu, which have a lot of aim into it. I guess I'll also explain like what else I find beneficial uh, with aiming on a pen. It's that this might just be personal, but I could lick faster on targets than reacting with the mouse. Because when you think about it, when you're clicking on a mouse, you're using like one finger and just like pressing down. On a pen, you're pressing down your entire hand. Wait, how does that make sense? I guess that's personal. Uh, it's just because I've played Osu a lot where I'm very used to like pressing down on a screen or on my tablet that I find it a lot faster to um, just tap on my tablet and, and click fast. Yeah, so I don't know if you are aware of this, but I did a video about a mouse that had lower button height and I related it to using a pen because I'm like, your fingers are now closer to the mouse pad and that gives you more control. And you don't use like a paint roller when you're doing a fine piece of art, like when you're doing fine details on a painting, you're not going to use something the size of a cucumber either. They're just mm -hmm. too big, but you get that small pen and you got that precision. So I was like, if we can get mice closer to pens, we could actually have much better aim. Like it just makes sense. It'll unlock the potential that we have. So when I saw you actually using a pen, I thought that's genius. I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about. And the fact that you're talking about how your aim does improve and you do have these benefits to it. Yeah, a lot of drawbacks because it's not made for that, but there's still clear advantages to using such a device with that extra accuracy. Cause I'm like, well, what can we do with this understanding and this experience? Like our pen's the future. Like if we add that scroll, if we tackle the fact that there's no fire button on a pen or whatever, can we make right. pens viable in the future? Right, a lot of testing as well. Uh, I think anyone could try this exercise where you can, um, if you have like a, a mouse with you right now, you could kind of go like, let's say, 150 degrees or so uh in terms of like rotations with it uh if you're like going really far on your mouse pad but if you're using a pen on a tablet more than like 120 degrees and you'll start putting your wrist in a very awkward tense like position that could easily lead to injuries so uh, when i play i usually use my arm to aim and very rarely my wrist so that's like another drawback you might expect it expect more fine movements uh, if your crosshair is like if your crosshair does not need to move that far, but if you're going uh, super far off into the distance, uh, you may need to readjust or else your hand will inevitably cramp, tense up. Yeah, right. So just speak on that a bit more. Readjusting your view and turning around. You said that was a negative. What if you had a big pad? So you said, uh, what was it? Eight by five inches or six inches? Yeah, so I was using an eight by six. Yeah, that's um, uh, still pretty small. So if you think like 15 by 12 inch. Yeah, that sounds pretty damn good. Um, there are like bigger tablets than mine currently, but I found that the Wacom, since it's the most popular tablet brand, has the best tablet support for aiming. Uh, I was trying other brands, uh, not sponsored, uh, trying other brands as well. And 
like some of them don't offer hover this like they don't report hover distance as a, a metric that you can adjust the way i play is i hover and when i see an enemy i tap but you can kind of like picture in your head how annoying that might be if i'm like hovering either too high or it's too sensitive and like i'm trying to make a micro adjustment but because my hand is hovering i might make an aiming mistake a lot of the other tablets that are not wacom their hover distances are like five inches up or a pinky off the ground or off the tablet. That means my my mouse would always or my tablet would always be in play. Like imagine like playing a game, but you don't let go of your mouse ever. Like you can't raise your mouse to readjust that's your aim. Uh, that's how some tablets feel like playing on it. So even though I had a bigger tablet at the time uh, from another company, because like they don't really support the hover distance thing and it wasn't adjustable with my driver, it just felt so hard to play with uh, in terms of readjustment. So I'm just gonna share my OC screen, or maybe I'll share MS Paint. That's a lot better. <laughs> okay. You can see like the the readjustments I make in real time. Awesome. Uh, can you see it? I sure can. Okay, so here's how I usually let's say uh, let me let me draw a dude real quick, enemy, right? Uh, I just go on it and tap, and it looks fine, right? Uh, people ask why I don't use my pen buttons. That's because when I do, you could see my cursor moves. Cause I have to use my thumb to press it. Even like the, the slightest of like taps will move my thing. Uh, even if I'm dragging too, if I'm dragging my pen, you could see it, it moves ever so slightly. So my aim will always shift to the right because I'm putting pressure uh, through my thumb onto the button. Whether the, this could be fixed with like more sensitive buttons, I'm not sure. I don't but... think so. That's an actual legitimate problem. That's really interesting to see. I could grip it in a sort of way where like there's way less movement, but like it is uncomfortable to do that. So yeah, that's essentially why I don't use buttons. I do play Osu. You, you would think like I could shoot with the keyboard too. And I've tried that and it actually works pretty darn well. Uh, but the, the question is like, where would you bind the shoot button to? And then it's like you lose one of your fingers um, to, I don't know, crouch or heal or do whatever to shoot. So I tried binding it to my space bar before and like my aim felt good, but then everything else, like just game sense wise, I was like just struggling to like figure out which fingers to use to um, do everything else besides aim. I've changed my config so many times and it takes about a month or two months to really adjust again. So I feel your pain. Right, I've seen your, your Apex video on that one. So nothing is perfect. There are drawbacks with pens. Um, so you've mentioned right. expensive, uh, readjusting the view and turning around so you need even a, a bigger tablet. Pressing on the tablet, uh, that doesn't sound too bad. It's going to be better than the alternative, which is a button on the pen, which means it's right. going to actually be moving just that little bit each time you shoot, which is terrible. And the other thing you mentioned to me was it needs filtering. Oh yeah, I can even like, I have so many filters when I use a skim. Smoothing, noise reduction. Let me know if you want me to explain any of them. I use let's see hover distance limiter three. Uh, yeah, I use three filters. So the smoothing makes it so the lines are or less like erratic. Uh, it's similar to angle snapping, which is a whole nother thing. Noise reduction is so that I don't shake as much. I think. Yo, sometimes I don't even know if I'm right. Oh, it's more sharp. It more it's more sharp. Uh, and hover distance limiter is so that I can lift my pen off at the desired height in order to readjust. If imagine if I was doing it off like four inches up, then it'd be a nightmare to readjust. Typically, they, it, it's like at a fair distance where you can adjust most of the time. But like, yeah, just imagine lifting your mouse off the ground by multiple inches. <laughs> Yeah, especially for the wrist aimers. Good luck with that. Yeah, there's a ton of limitations to talk about in terms of gameplay with this. And honestly, I'm surprised how far I was able to get with it. Um, but there would be like hand injuries being one thing. Like it, it, it's a common thing in OSU players because we flex our wrist so much. Uh, carpal tunnel, RSI, uh, tendonitis, tendonitis, you name it. It also happens in mouse aiming as well. But I feel like you don't usually get to that unless you play on a super competitive level. So tell me, this is actually one of the next questions. How was your accuracy with the pen? Like just the accuracy. By accuracy, we're talking about like how consistent I can shoot at a target. And what kind of shots you can hit as well. What shots I can hit. Oh man, speaking of limitations, like when they're in my face, it is such a nightmare. Like <laughs> I don't, I, I, it's so hard to, to strafe, like let's say left and right, because they're closer to you, right? You have to move your arm more. Yeah, exactly. And like, it, it is 
people will see me like with the most point blank like shots and it's just it, it, it's it's sad because i'm playing a team game and they can all spectate me and they're like yo what the fuck's going on i'm like dude <laughs> he's a writing utensil is it my fault yeah <laughs> um I, I think I specialize a lot in like to mid range fights. I'm not even gonna say long range just because I know like almost all of my clips involve mid range fights. And I started to pace my games like that where I would purposely try to not get too close to an angle because it's just harder for me. So I was finding that I was able to take aim duels pretty comfortably, especially multiple angles because crosshair placement with the pen felt pretty natural, very similar to a mouse. And I would say it's even like more intuitive in some form because like tracking an angle when you're doing crosshair placement with the mouse kind of involves very micro movements especially on longer angles, but I can keep that micro movement very consistently on a pen because I'm using my middle finger as a guiding finger under the pen and I could just like move very, very micro movements without much trouble. So I would say even like crosshair placement feels more comfortable on a pen as opposed to a mouse, uh, which leads me to play the game very good at like a mid range scale. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so final question. What do you think would be needed for pens to become competitive in the gaming scene? And if that's even possible, what would be the perfect scenario for a pen to actually make it into competitive? Damn. Um, all right. Starting off with the price can't be above like 150 because at that point, just buy a mouse, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, second is driver support. The scroll wheel needs to be somewhere uh on the pen i'd love like a small like very thin wheel um that you could like let's say grip with your thumb um maybe in the middle of the pen that'd be really awesome it would unlock a lot of games yeah when it comes to competitive gaming then it's going to be too hard to really make pens competitive at this point but it is something that seems interesting and i hope people try this out and push it forward and see what they can do with it because based on what i found from mice the smaller we go the better it's going to be and maybe there's some sort of balance point between them we can have like a pen mouse that'd be cool a pouch a men a pouch. <laughs> yeah just to add a few more details like there's with this play style so far there's so many ways to innovate it because like in the us community tablets have been around for nine years or so and they're still like different ways that people are making things work. So a recent innovation is that mouse players often have mouse drift, right? Someone took out uh, a tablet, uh, the sensor and put in the mouse and then plays the mouse on the tablet so that there's always a defined area for where the mouse should be uh, in relation to a 2D plane, um, stuff like that. And even for my play style, I use like badminton grip on my pen so I don't slip and I use a pillow under my arm to pivot from. So there's all sorts of ways to uh, evolve the play style, even if it's like weird, like a pillow. Yeah, that makes sense. And with the new tech, there's always gonna be innovation and people coming up with different ideas. So I'm just interested to see where this goes. And I think it's super cool that you even tried this. And the fact that you reached, what was it, Immortal? Yeah, Immortal using a tablet is just crazy. And I know there's like a lot of holding angles and all that in Valorant. So how much of that was you actually aiming with the pen and how much of it was just your game sense? I think if you gave this to any uh, Immortal player or like pro player, um, if you give them like a month or two, they'll be at a playable level, like 70, 80% of what they uh, usually are, just because game sense matters a lot. Um, but I pushed myself to like, I didn't want to cheese my way there, right? Because it's, it's it's easy to just like sit somewhere with a shotgun and just like kind of AFK. But I made sure to take very active um, positions while playing so that I would practically be playing like normal. Or I, I was curious, like how far you could really take this input. And I wasn't just about to like make a video where it's like, hey guys, I use a drawing tablet to hit this current rank. Um, but all I did was sit in a corner because that's boring as hell. So I, I I made sure and I was like always hyper conscious that I, I was like envisioning the, the pen as a mouse and, and making it feel normal. So after like, I don't know, month one of using this uh, input, it no longer felt like I was like forcing it. It actually felt pretty natural to uh, aim at people. So it's legit. Uh, the pen actually did reach immortal. The pen is immortal. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All that was super interesting to hear the take on it. Like very cool and i love the fact you even tried it and 
that you got that far is even more incredible. I think it's amazing and I want to see more of that. Just uh, whenever anyone innovates and tries different things and it's all pieces to the puzzle of helping us aim and getting better. Big thanks to you for actually sticking with the pen and reaching a model. Amazing to see. And yeah, shout yourself out. Where can people follow your journey of finding the best devices and getting your aim to the next level? And uh, will there be more pen and tablet gaming or will you move on to other devices? Good question. Uh, if a gaming company sees this, yo, please make a pen. I think it'd be so cool. It'd be so awesome size. You can find me anywhere. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all of that. I did try to stream the Apex on pen earlier, but that didn't go so well. Yeah, my, my journey with Valorant is done with this. Don't know what I'll do in the future, but I think the left hand idea is something I definitely want to try. Awesome. Okay, I'll leave all those links in the description so people can check it out and see how you're going with that progress. And yeah, thanks again for stopping by and having a chat with us. Yeah, let's go. Awesome sauce. <laughs> okay, gotta love when people do something different. It was really cool talking with Karyu. I don't know how this information will be used in the future, but still thought it was important to get out there. It's just another piece to the puzzle for how we can reach our best aim potential. So my key takeaway is that yeah, there's going to be some things you can do with a pen that you can't do with a mouse, but for now, you can do more with a mouse than a pen. And so we're sticking with mice. However, that does mean I'd like to see even smaller mice on the market, because I think we can actually go smaller. It's just a matter of designing them properly. So hopefully I'll get the chance someday. No sponsorship on these videos, so I'll just promote my own stuff instead. If you want to try my mouse design with pen aim principles, you can check out the MZ1 at extrafy.com. Or if you're looking for a new book to read, one that's set in World War 4 and has an element of magic, you can check out my books at theheroesfall.com. Thanks again to Karyu for the insight, his links are below as well. And as always, sub like and share, and I'll catch you in the next.